Hello and welcome back to No BS. Today we're talking about another victim of cancel culture, another band that has been forced to change their name in order to kowtow to angry leftists who are being rather crazy right now. They're PC policing everything, making sure everyone has the right characters in their shows, making sure toy companies sell certain toys and not other ones. And in this case, anything that references the South or the Civil War era is coming under fire. We've seen it start when Gone with the Wind, a classic movie, was taken off of HBO and then put back with a warning message, which is really dumb. Then another example, another band changed their name about a week or so ago. Lady Antebellum went by Lady A now because apparently antebellum is offensive because it references pre-Civil War era when really it's not, it's not. And that's what's similarly happened. Today's band is the Dixie Chicks. The Dixie Chicks are a long time, another country based group, three girls singing their hearts out, have some really great hits back in the day too. But nowadays, not so much. They've kind of fallen off. They're kind of old hat now but they're trying to get relevant again. That's the other side of the story too, because not only are things getting canceled by leftists and outraged mobs and people complaining, but also now people are like canceling themselves preemptively, like to try to make sure that they don't get canceled. And then also they're trying to like get woke points by confessing and saying, I'm sorry, I'm wrong. I did it. Our name was wrong. Love me again. You know, like they're trying to do it as a publicity stunt. And that's the way I see this Dixie Chicks one. It goes by this. It goes, the Dixie Chicks changed their name to the Chicks. (laughs) Terrible name, by the way. Like it sounds like an awful change. I'm not sure what else they could have done. But now just the Chicks. It just sounds terrible. Dixie isn't like a negative thing either. It just references something from the Civil War. They called it the the Mason Dixon line or the Dixie, you know, it's like your Dixie heart of gold or kind of things like that. It's just a reference to a time period that was long ago. And yes, there was racism back then and there was bad things and, you know, terrible things happening. But 150 years ago is a long time. So the fact that some people have names that might coincide with something that happened during the Civil War, it's just ridiculous to go back to it that way and to take it that far. But that's what this band's doing. Like I was saying, they're kind of washed up. They're getting older. People don't remember them much anymore. I'm not sure if you guys even heard of the Dixie Chicks. Like To me, they're like a band that was popular like 20 years ago or something. I'm not even sure when their last hit was, but they're still good. They still had some decent songs, like good rhythm, good uh, stuff like that. But the fact of the matter is, this is a publicity stunt. I'm not sure anyone was calling for this. I did hear that this was coming. Like, once Lady Antebellum went down, Dixie Chicks was next. Like, a lot of people saw this coming, and now they're doing it. And then, look, surprise, surprise, they're coming out with a song, too. They're topping this announcement and saying, hey, now buy our new song. It's called March, March. And uh, and the other thing that makes it worse is they're getting all woke. Like, they're doing this whole... March, March thing. They're talking about protests again. They're capitalizing on all this nonsense. And yeah, look, it's like end white silence. They're referencing all these people like that have died, like these BLM heroes that are usually, you know, black guys who got into trouble with the police. They committed crimes. They fought them. They did bad things and it resulted bad for them. But this is the kind of hero kind of making these guys into martyrs that they do now. And <laughs> The Dixie Chicks are going along with it. They're getting really woke here. It's really cringe. Their song's called March. They've got this black background with the white words. I mean, you could just see where that's going. It is not pretty. And yeah, they're doing the cop, anti-cop thing. They've got the marches. Hey, hey, we're woke. They've got some person, some minorities crying. (laughs) Oh, we've got black and white photography. Interesting choices all around. Yeah, if we were in this era, there might be something to argue about racism. If it was 60 years ago or whichever, there might be time to kind of complain about this law or this thing. But right now we're talking about everyone's fair. Trayvon Martin, he went and punched a guy and started a fight. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. You got these guys, all this Black Lives Matter stuff. Oh, my God. It's worse than I thought. This guy's wearing transracial makeup. Apparently, that's cool if you're a minority. March. You got to march with the Dixie Chicks. No, with the Chicks. We're the Chicks. We're just called the Chicks now. (laughs) Superstars, renegades, heroes, villains, and moms. Gaslighter is their new album. 7-17-20. That's next month. 
and they conveniently got this whole March song into it. They changed their name to The Chicks, which I don't know. I, maybe Chicks could be considered offensive now. You know, do they actually like to be called Chicks? I thought that was kind of, oh, let's call them a lady or a woman or a ma'am. You know, Chicks could be offensive. I think we need to just call them The. <laughs> let's just call them The. The Chicks. Okay, let's see what the response say. Well done, and thanks for the name change. Thank you for taking the heart, the name you carried up until now and changing it. Thank you for always trying to do the right thing and now get rid of the other offensive word in your band name. Please, to me, that's more offensive than Dixie. So here is someone complaining about chicks. I was saying that chicks is offensive. That's next. They're just going to go word by word. It's like, okay, now chicks. Now we're just the. Okay, but I don't know. That T, that capital T is kind of offensive. Can we make it a lowercase T? Okay, then it's the lowercase T. Um. You know what? I'm sorry. Hate to be the bearer of bad news. H's are offensive now. You know, just, just can, can you get rid of the each? Okay, then we're T-E. We're T-E. No, that T looks like a cross. We don't like religions. All right, we're E. The band is called E. <laughs> Trump stinks. I've been a fan since the first album, and I saw y'all a couple years ago in Dallas. Um, okay. They'll always be the Dixie Chicks. Yeah, I think the name change is kind of... You know, they're still the Dixie Chicks. They're just like officially, you know, what they put on their album and what they put on the poster is the Chicks. But everyone knows the Dixie's still there. Like, that's how I felt about the Lady A name change. Like, okay, it's still Lady Antebellum. Like, Lady A is just initial for it. Like, it's kind of like, to me, honestly, it reminds me of Puff Daddy. Puff Daddy had to change his name one point because Puff kind of got out of style and he didn't want to be related to it. So he went by P. Diddy. And, you know... (laughs) He was still puffed to me, though. He's still puffed. The never-ending list of names at the end of this video should be enough to silence anyone still asking why these protests are happening, why players took a knee, why Black Lives Matter. I know for many it won't, but I can only hope it changes a few minds. Oh, wow, you guys are woke as hell. Oh, my gosh. These guys look mean right here. These girls look mean. These chicks, I should say. The chicks. The platinum-selling country trio, the Dixie Chicks, is changing their name to The Chicks, Apparently, an acknowledgement of criticism over its use of Dixie, a nostalgic name for the Civil War era South. So now we are deleting more of our history, too. That's another point here. That's another very Marxist, like communist style. It happened in Venezuela um, not too long ago, like 15 or 16 years ago. Socialists rose up. They tore down statues. They took away stuff from the history books. They didn't allow certain movies to play. Art was under attack, too. And that's what's happening in America now. These things are coming down along with our statues, anything related to the South. Everything in the South is being condemned. But the thing they don't realize is not everyone in the South was a super big racist. Like, I don't get this idea. Like, not everyone in America is racist. Like, that's the whole implication was, oh, well, the South had slaves back in the day. Well, you know what? There's a lot of people in the South. They didn't all have slaves. Like, that was actually a very small group where very rich people like you had to have a lot of money and a big like farm plantation to have that kind of situation so not everyone in the south had that like it's okay to just have pride for your region even if your region had some kind of blemish in its history Uh, granted this could be considered a very bad blemish i'm sure it is i'm not against it like i totally am for freedom and people being able to have jobs and get paid and not have to work for free like that is bad but The point is, not only did no, like a small percentage of people in the South had this issue, but also everyone in the world had this kind of labor system. Like slavery was prevalent across the globe, like all over the place. I don't see why the South in America gets crapped on so much. I mean, I can figure out why. It's pretty obvious we're so popular, such a big country. Everyone wants to get here. So there's that gives you a lot of enemies. People don't like the people on top. They're always going to tear down the king or the president or whoever's the leader or the top country in the world. It's going to get a lot of flack. And this is just like a lot of foreign influence here. They want to tear down America. We've seen foreign news outlets going after us. They're even encouraging the statue pulling. Like there's that one story we did where Al Jazeera had a map and showed everyone where the statues were. Like they were literally leading people into this, saying that it helped save the world too. Like, oh, we're heroes. And now this is the kind of pop culture reference, a kind of terrible story about this band. I mean, I'm not going to lose sleep over it. Like, I'm not a Dixie Chicks super fan or anything. 
Like, I'm not a big fan of this band. I'm not losing sleep over it. I actually like Lady Antebellum a little bit more. They're more modern and have a better mix of music to me, but it's still hurtful. You know, it's still like, oh, gosh, everything is going down. Like, the chicks are going down, and it's just real, real funny to watch. We see this new name confirmed. We want, we see it happening all over. It's going to just keep happening. At the end of the day, this is a publicity stunt. They're trying to sell a new album. They're trying to virtue signal. And the other thing I would point out is, don't they realize there's like a contradiction? Like if you change your name right now, it's saying that your name was something before. Like they're trying to kind of say, oh, it kind of was racist. And they had that name for 20 years. So are they racist? Like, is that change like if they change the name 20 years later does that really fix it because i'm not sure i see that like i see this as an admission of guilt and it's really messed up that we're we're cheering this on we're seeing these woke activists and then the fact that they made that music video and the song called march that thing is crossing the line that thing is terrible terrible bad sauce that about wraps things up i hope you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you comment your thoughts on everything below give me some ideas what you think about the new chick's name and how their woke video went if you want to check that out go on the internet and search for it until next time hit the like button subscribe bell for notifications check out no bs news have a great day